السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر جاوید اقبال آئی ایم ہیئر ود ان ادر ویڈیو آن نیچرل لینگویج پروسیسنگ لیکچر سیریز دا ٹائٹل آف دس ویڈیو از ٹیکس ڈیٹا آگمنٹیشن ان نیچرل لینگویج پروسیسنگ دیز آر آلسو نون ایز ٹیکنیکس ٹو ہینڈل ان بیلنس ڈیٹا ایف یو آر ورکنگ آن نیچرل لینگویج پروسیسنگ یو ڈو ناٹ ہیو سفیشینٹ اماؤنٹ آف ڈیٹا ٹو ٹرین یور ماڈل یو کین یوز دیز ڈیٹا آگمنٹیشن ٹیکنیکس ٹو ایکسپینڈ یور ڈیٹا Before this, I have also created a similar video for data augmentation in computer vision. You can watch that video in my machine learning lecture series. Please watch this video till the end for complete understanding of different text augmentation techniques. The motivation behind using data augmentation techniques is that we artificially expand the data. For example, if we are working on any novel problem and we do not have sufficient amount of data to train and generalize our model, then we must apply these data augmentation techniques to expand the amount of data so that we can obtain a better generalized model. Here is an example how data can be expanded. Here is an example how we can apply data augmentation to expand the data. In the figure, we have a sentence, this is very cool. After applying some data augmentation techniques, we can create different variation of the sentence, this is very cool. The first variation is, this is pretty cool. The second variation is, this is really cool. And other sentence that can be created using data augmentation is, this is super cool. This is kinda cool. And finally, this is very cool. So all these are different variations of the sentence. This is very cool. In the similar way, data augmentation techniques can be used to expand your original text data. There is a challenge of semantically invariant transformations while we work on natural language process. There are less chance that this problem will arise in computer vision. For example, if we have an image of a cat in computer vision, and we apply some kind of transformations like we convert this image into grayscale or we flip the image. Then after applying these transformations, we obtain an other images. These two images are very similar to the image of the original image. So in this case, both the new obtained image will also be a image of cat. While we apply data augmentation techniques on text data, For example, we have a text, this is good. If we apply a shuffle transformation, the new obtained text will be, is this good? So you can see that the meaning of the original text and the meaning of the transform text are completely changed. So we have this problem of semantically invariant transformations while we apply data augmentations in natural language processing. This slide shows different types of techniques that can be used in data augmentation. These techniques should be applied very carefully while we are working on the textual data. As we have a specific grammatical structure of the text, so we should be very careful while using these techniques. One more thing that the uh, most of the researchers apply these techniques on the training data only, but we can also try it for test data. The different types of techniques are back translation, easy data augmentation, NLP albumentation, NLP arg, etc. The first technique that we will discuss is the back translation. Back translation translate the text data to some language and then translate it back to the original language. For example, in the figure, we can see that we have our text. I have no time. This is our original text. The text is in English. We can use some APIs to transform this text to the French. This is the French translation of the text I have no time. Then in the next step we will again translate this text into English again. So you can see we obtain an other variation of the original text in English language. So in the similar way we can transform our original text into some other languages and then transform back that text into English again to expand our data. There are several translation APIs like Google Translate, Bing, those can be used. 
for this purpose. The next data augmentation technique is easy data augmentation. Under the easy data augmentation, we have four different types of techniques. Synonym replacement, random insertion. In synonym replacement, we randomly choose n non-stop words and replace it with its synonym. Like, like we have this original text. This article will focus on summarizing data augmentation technique in NLP. After applying synonym replacement, we can swap synonym of the two words like article and technique. We will replace article with write-up and technique with the method. All this process can be done using different word embedding techniques are the techniques those provide us the synonym of words. So the obtained text is a variation of the original text. The next easy data augmentation technique is random insertion. In random insertion, we randomly insert the synonym of selected word at random position in the text. And we repeat this process n time. For example, for this original text, we will insert random synonym of words, article, and techniques. So the, the new sentence that we obtain after applying random insertion will be this article will focus on. Here we added a write-up which is a synonym of article and method which is a synonym of technique. So the obtained sentence will be a variation of the original sentence. We can repeat this process several times to obtain different number of variations. The next easy data augmentation technique is random substitution. Here we randomly swap any two words in the text and we repeat this process n time. This is our original text. In our all examples, we are using the same text. And after applying random substitution, the sentence will be replaced. The new sentence will be, we will replace article with technique and technique with the article. Here the words are randomly swapped. Keep one thing in mind that after swapping, the meaning of the sentence should not be changed. The new sentence is this technique will focus on summarizing data augmentation article in NLP. The next easy data augmentation technique is random delete. In this technique, we randomly remove each word in the sentence with probability p. Like we have this original text, we randomly remove two words. Like we obtain the, the new sentence after applying randomly removing few words is this article focus on summarizing data augmentation. Again, please remember that you can see that the meaning of the sentence is not changed. So while applying this technique, we should consider this that the meaning of the sentence should not be changed. The next data augmentation technique is NLP albumentation. In NLP albumentation, we shuffle sentences in the text. For example, here our original text contains different sentences and each sentence may be repeated multiple times. Suppose we have sentence 1, then sentence 2, sentence 4, again sentence 4, sentence 5, and sentence 5 again. So after transformation, we shuffle the sentences within the text. Suppose in the first place we put sentence 2, then sentence 3, then sentence 1, sentence 5, sentence 5 again, and sentence 4. So actually here we are replacing the order of the sentences. Actually, in this transformation, if the text contains multiple sentences, these sentences are shuffled to create new sample. So this one is the original text and this one is the transformed text. Next, NLP albumentation method is exclude duplicate transform. In this method, we remove the duplicate sentences in the text. For example, here we have the original text which comprises of Sentence 1, sentence 2, sentence 4, sentence 4, sentence 5, and sentence 5. So after applying exclude duplicate transform, we will remove the duplicate sentences. After removing duplication, the new transform text would be 
sentence 1 sentence 2 sentence 4 and sentence 5 so these uh, nlp albumentation techniques can be used to create new text from the existing text or expand the text based on shuffle sentence transformation and exclude duplicate transformation the last data augmentation technique is nlp org library NLP Org Library is a Python library that can be used at three different levels. We can apply this at character level, word level, and sentence level. One more thing, in NLP Org Python Library, we applied the techniques that we discussed earlier, like we can apply random deletion, random insertion, shuffling, and synonym replacement. All these techniques fall under easy data augmentation. This NLP org library can be very useful if we implement data augmentation in Python. According to the literature review that synonym replacement using word embedding is the most popular technique that can be used for data augmentation. In this video, I have shown you different techniques of data augmentation for natural language processing. These techniques comprises of back translation, easy data augmentation, NLP albumentation, and NLP R. The importance of these techniques is that these techniques can be effectively used for better generalized models. To continue your learning, please stay tuned. Thank you.